Now I want you to know that in his book, The Principia, Newton had three extremely significant items. One was the laws of motion, and we've already talked about the first law and the second law, and we'll talk about the third law too in just a minute. He had the laws of motion, he had his explanation of gravity, which for the first time explained the paths of the planets in their orbit around the sun and the path of the moon in its orbit around the earth. And he also had his invention of calculus. And calculus is a fairly advanced, a fairly advanced mathematics. It's generally considered college level math. In a course of study you would typically take Algebra 1 and then Geometry and then Algebra 2 and then Pre-Calculus and then Calculus. And you'd also have some Trigonometry in there as well, but Calculus is typically the end of your high school math or, or really the beginning of college level math. And, and Newton invented it. He came up with it all on his own. Any one of these three things would have been enough to earn Isaac Newton everlasting fame in the history of the world and he had all three of those in one book and in, in doing so especially with his under, understanding of gravity and planetary orbits Newton did what people had been trying to do for thousands of years and that is come up with a correct and accurate explanation of what we call the system of the world Newton explained the system of the world and got it right and it's difficult to overstate the significance of Isaac Newton's ideas. If we look at the broad sweep of history, so imagine a, a timeline going from say 1000 BC and say here's 0 and here's 1000 AD and here's 2000 today. Through most of history, people understand the world understood the world according to the ideas of Aristotle. And it was this brief period here, relatively brief, when looked at in perspective. During this hundred years or so, where uh, Galileo and Newton figured out and produced their theories, and other people as well were part of this, like Copernicus and Kepler, but these were some of the main guys, and Newton certainly the main guy who explained the whole system of the world correctly. Looking back on history from a broad perspective like we have now, we see this as this relatively brief era, era, and after that, after that time, we understand the world correctly. Before this time, people were Aristotelian in their thinking, and after this, we are all Newtonians. Even though Einstein came along, and made some changes to the theory and explained things differently, we still understand the world in everyday terms, how things move around us. When we throw an object, it moves through the air in its flight, and that's explained by Newtonian physics, Newton's laws of motion, and the whole system of the world, the solar system and the planets, and how everything moves, and the earth that we live on, how it moves around the sun, was explained by Isaac Newton's theory of gravity. And Newton's ideas were so successful and so widely understood after he wrote his book that that is what led to the scientific revolution and the industrial revolution and much of the world that we live in today would be tremendously different were it not for the thinking of this man. His influence has been both profound and enduring. The English poet Alexander Pope stated it this way. He said, Nature and nature's laws lay hid in night. God said, let Newton be, and all was light.